Innovation doesn't come from doing the same thing every day. And the great thing about the Landscape Decisions program is it lets you do things differently. It enables people from different disciplines to come together, bringing with them their different ways of seeing things. And this is gonna be essential if we're gonna better support nature recovery. Biodiversity net gain policy essentially says that while we're trying to solve the human housing crisis, we mustn't worsen the housing crisis that all the other species in this country are also facing. Within the Landscape Decisions Programme, my work is all about trying to understand how different species use landscapes. By bringing together the latest ecological research with the practical on the ground experience of planners, we can start to look closely at how biodiversity net gain ideas might be implemented on the ground in a way that genuinely supports species. My background is in development management planning practice. That means that I bring an important professional and applied planning practice lens to the project and ensures that when we're thinking about the implications of the programme, it's done mindful of the need for effective implementation and interaction with the planning system. We find that biodiversity is best supported by having diversity in the first place, about recognising those peculiarities of place that make this place different from that place. And so I said to Adam, do you have anything already that deals with the fact that places are unique and you want to preserve that uniqueness? And he said, of course we do, this is called placemaking. We can translate placemaking to the biodiversity context and we can think about how biodiversity has its own expectations and its own requirements. That includes access to food, it will include areas where wet and dry, light and dark are available, safe spaces, areas with access to the different requirements to, to live for that diversity of species. We make a different bespoke model for each individual species, so we simulate different types of birds but also bats, amphibians, reptiles and bees. They all move around at different scales and there are different types of habitats that are important to them for different reasons. Biodiversity net gain can feel quite abstract. What the model does is brings home the reality of the life that's present and in turn the decision then becomes based on very significant questions of, of loss and death associated with species that now have a face and a form and a reality and a presence. The world is facing unprecedented challenges that threaten our very existence as humankind not least the climate crisis, the species lost worldwide, but also social and economic crises like the energy crisis and the housing crisis. All the ecosystem services that landscapes currently provide and are expected to provide in the future can only be maintained and secured through a collaborative and holistic approach to landscape decision making. So the Landscape Decisions Programme has really shown the potential of these multidisciplinary collaborations. By bringing together knowledge from ecology and from planners themselves, we can better support nature recovery.